In this video, I'm going to be building the best possible budget team right now in NBA 2K23. My team, every single player on the squad will be under 10,000 MT, except for maybe one or two players. I'll be like 12 to 15,000 MT, but I would say probably 90% of these players will be under that 10,000 MT mark. And this is going to be the best budget team you guys can build right now in the game. So at the starting point guard position, it's going to be one of the better, if not the best budget point guard in the game for under that 10,000 MT range is going to be Pink Diamond Matisse Stiebel. I think he's such a good point guard. He's six foot five with a six foot ten wingspan. He's gonna give you some lockdown defense, 98 block, 98 steel, 97 perimeter with a 94 interior defense. And I feel like Matisse Thibel is honestly one of the more underrated point guards in the game. I don't think he's on the same level as like a Scotty Barnes, a Jimmy Butler, Sangu, and these type of top tier point guards. But I think for only 10,000 MT, I would say he is the best budget point guard in the game because Luke Walton, he now goes for like 30, 35, 40,000 MT. So I no longer consider him budget. And for this squad specifically, every single card will be under 10,000 MT. So at the starting shooting guard position, going to be another card from the out of position set, and that is going to be the Pink Diamond Al Horford. I feel like this out of position set had so many good budget cards, and, and we'll probably see a couple more of these guys in this squad build. There'll be an Al Horford, I think is an amazing pairing next to uh, Matisse Thibel, because Matisse is a really good defender, but he could, he could also score the ball at a very high level. And then you look at Al Horford, he's a six foot 10 shooting guard with a seven foot wingspan. So the amount of defense in your backcourt is going to be crazy crazy good like i mean al horford's got a 90 block 90 steel 93 lateral quickness 92 perimeter and a 92 interior defense and then you take a look at his offensive stats really not that bad for an al horford card like 94 three ball 93 mid-range actually fairly a fairly quick 90 speed 90 acceleration shooting badges wise he's got a hall of fame agent three catch and shoot corner specialist and limitless range as well and then he's got a solid jump shot and some pretty decent dribble sticks for your shooting guard that is six foot ten so all around i think al horford only goes for about I think maybe six, seven, maybe 10,000 MT at most. And I think for that price range, he's going to be one of the best budget shooting guards in the game. At the starting small four position, I think the best budget small four in the game is the pink diamond Jabari Parker. If we're talking about cards that are about 15,000 MT or lower, I do think Jabari Parker is one of the best small forwards in the game. I mean, he's just so, so elite being six foot eight with a seven foot, uh, not seven foot, six foot eight with a six foot 11 wingspan. I mean, the cards also got great defense. So our one, two, and three are going to have crazy good defensive stats and badges but especially stats. I mean, he's got like a 90 block, 88 steel, 90 lateral quickness, 90 perimeter, and a 90 tier defense. So basically 90 in every single defensive category. But offensively, I think he probably can be our secondary or our main ball handler because of the six. He's got the Kemba Walker size up, which is super nice for three hunting. And he's also got the Trey Young escape, which is the easily the best escape in the game, in my opinion. So all around this card's movement is actually really good. He's got front clutches. He's got quick drops off one, the two best dunk packages in the game. He's got a solid jump shot i mean just all around an amazing six foot eight small forward for under that 10,000 mt range and then at the are starting a power four position another really good defender is going to be the diamond claxon i feel like at this stage of my team it all comes down to height defense player model and wingspan as well player model wingspan are kind of the same thing but that's kind of what i'm going with for this budget squad on the starting lineup we don't have a like a main score but i would say all of these guys together can go get you buckets especially jabari parker and matisse diable but talking about claxon he's a little bit more expensive because of the new edition lock-in sets for the flash one for the Ga galaxy with jerry west i think he goes for around 10,000 mt sometimes a little bit more sometimes a little bit less but he's going to be an amazing defensive power 46 foot 11 with a 7 foot 2 wingspan i mean this card's got a 98 block 94 steel 95 interior defense he's also got hall of fame anchor brick wall clamps pogo stick post lockdown rebound chaser which is super nice for your power forward and then even offensively he can finish at the rim catch lobs you know even get a lot of standing dunk animation and he's got not that bad of a jump shot yes it's not the best release in the game but i feel like it's definitely greenable with that lefty release and then you look at the starting center not my favorite card in the game and i really don't think this card's that great but we got to go with eddie curry because if you think about it there is no great budget centers for under 10,000 mt i was debating bobon and you guys can let me know do you guys think bobon is actually a good center because if we quickly look at that bobon card he's only got 25 speed and 25 acceleration like if he had like 60 speed this card would be so so glitchy because he's seven foot four with a seven foot eight wingspan he has a crazy good player build but player model but it's just tough to put a card that 
that only has 25 speed. So I think all around, Eddie Curry is probably going to be your better option. And they do go for around the same price, around 10,000 MT. Eddie Curry might be a little bit cheaper, but yeah, he's still seven foot with a seven foot six wingspan. And all around, yes, his jump shot's terrible, but I think all around, he's a little bit better of a card or a lot better of a card than a Boban. So I think starting center is going to be Pink Diamond Eddie Curry. So I think this is the best starting lineup you guys can build for under 10,000 MT per card. And a lot of these cards, like even like Jabari Parker, I think it's only six, seven, eight thousand MT. Same thing with the Matisse Leibel and same thing with Eddie Curry as well. But off the bench, it's going to be the same principles. We want height, we want defense, and we want cards that have really good player models. And the perfect guy for that off the bench is the uh, Danny Advia. Now, I was thinking of going Lance Stevenson. He is another really good point guard to run. And if you want a little bit more offense and a guy that can be your main ball handler, then I think Lance is a great option. But for this bench, I do think Danny being six foot nine and an amazing defender is going to be super nice to have off the bench. He is once again, probably our most expensive card. He's about 12 to 15,000 MT right now. But I think for that price tag, he's definitely going to be worth it. He's six foot nine with a six foot 10 wingspan. I mean, not the greatest stats all around, but he's six foot nine at point guard. He doesn't need to have great stats or badges he's got a capable jump shot he can drive to the basket and he's six foot nine a point guard that's all you pretty much need to know at the backup two i'm really debating between camera reddish and herb jones i think for this specific lineup i want to go camera reddish just because the fact that Herb Jones might be the better all-around card than Cameron Reddish, but for this lineup, I feel like we need a little bit more offense off the bench and a guy that can be our main ball handler and just get us buckets, and that's going to be Cameron Reddish compared to a guy like Herb Jones. So Reddish has got a good jump shot. He's good at going to the basket, and he's going to be a better offensive card than Herb Jones. Yes, Herb is a way better defender, and maybe if you wanted to, you could run Herb at the backup three, but I'm actually going to go with Darius Miles at the backup three because I think he can give us really good offense and he can give us really good defense as well, just like Jabari Parker one of the best budget small forwards in the game he's six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan elite defensive stats really good at driving to the basket he's got a good jump shot with that steady osman base and the carmelo anthony upper which is one of the fastest uppers in the game maybe even the fastest and then he's also got pretty decent dribble sigs he's got some okay dunk packages like he's really good at going to the rim though and I think for under 10,000 MT is one of the best budget small forwards in the game. So I think our 1-2-3 combo off the bench could even be arguably better than our 1-2-3 on the starting lineup. That's how good this budget squad is, in my opinion. Like, there is a budget squad you can make where all cards are under like 25 or 30,000 MT, but I feel like that's not really a budget squad at that, you know, at that point, because then the team's going to cost over like three, 400,000 MT. And I just don't feel like that's really a budget squad. To me, a budget team is a squad that's around like 100,000, probably even a little bit cheaper. Like, this squad might only come out to be like 70 80 000 mt which is really really good for you know how good of a squad you get to use and then at the back of four Probably the worst card on our team is going to be this Pink Diamond Christian Wood, but I really couldn't think of any amazing budget power forwards that are under 10,000 MT. So if you guys have any other suggestions or other options to run at the back of four, please let me know because Christian Wood is not bad. He's six foot ten, seven foot three wingspan, has a good player model. He can drive to the basket, has a capable jump shot, and I think our defense is fine off the bench, and he's going to give us a little bit more spark on the offensive end. But let me know if there's any other really good power forwards that you guys do think could play over Christian Wood. And then at the back of five, it is going to be the pink diamond James Wiseman. Just like Eddie Curry, don't like his jump shot. I think it's super hard to green and definitely not my favorite release or a good jump shot in the game. But I feel like once again, there's not too many great budget centers in the game. So you got to go with James Wiseman and you got to go with Eddie Curry. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm running Claxon at the four because there's not, there's not really that many great budget power forwards in the game. And there's really not that many great budget centers as well. So that's why I'm going, I'm going Claxon at the four instead of that five because Claxton's probably better at the center position but I feel like to have him at the four will be a little bit better but yeah James Wiseman all around I mean stats of badges wise is a good center card it just comes down to a jump shot which is terrible like it's so hard to green in my opinion he's even got quick drops off one which is nice like all around this is a really good center card he's got a great player model he's got that really not skinny but he's got that lanky player build he's able to grab rebounds block shots contest shots and just overall be a big center underneath the basket but his jump shot is just terrible. So same thing with Eddie Curry, really does hold the cards back. But I think overall, this is going to be the best budget team in the game with every card being around 10,000 MT or lower and some cards, maybe even five to 7,000 MT. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the squad? But hopefully the video to help you guys out and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.